Hey everyone, it's Carrie, your Tushy Enthusiast, and today I'm taking you on my journey to China where I learned the story of the Tushy bamboo toilet paper and I even got to visit the factory where it was made. As I'm taking you on this toilet paper journey today, I'm gonna to tell you why we chose bamboo as the fiber for our toilet paper, and then also show you exactly how it's made. And stick around to the end because when I was in China, I also made some really cool and interesting observations about bathroom culture. And of course, on this channel, we talk about all things bathroom, but sustainability and everything in between. So I think it's perfect. And I know that you guys are gonna love it. So stick around until the end. So you see, I'm actually not in a bathroom today. And that is because today, you know, we're not really focusing on the bidet or the bathroom. We are focusing on this baby right here. So in Introducing Tushy Bamboo Toilet Paper. So, real quickly, Tushy Bamboo Toilet Paper, it comes in eight, it comes in a pack of eight, and then also comes in a subscription for 36. We've been making and selling toilet, uh, the bamboo toilet paper for many years now, and so at Tushy, we've saved a lot of butts and a lot of trees. But why are we even using bamboo? It's so much more sustainable than making, than using toilet paper made from trees, which is like the normal white toilet paper that you see. And in a little bit, next part of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what type we use. The reason why bamboo is so much more sustainable than using trees is because of how quickly it can grow and the, the amount of resources that it uses to grow. So this type of bamboo that we use right here in this toilet paper can and grow up to 39 inches in one day. I'm not making this up, like this is real life and it's super cool. The reason is bamboo is technically not a tree. It is technically a grass. And so just, just imagine, you know, whenever you have a lawn, you, it, grass grows super quick and you can just like run a lawnmower over it and then it continues to grow and continue, and then you continue to cut it. Same thing with bamboo. Because it's technically a grass, it can grow and you harvest it and it can grow again. When you cut a tree trunk off, like that baby will not grow again. But bamboo, it does because it's technically a grass. Whenever the bud forms, the bamboo bud forms, all of the cells that the bamboo will ever have are formed all at the same time. So whenever it grows, it doesn't need to replicate cells like humans or trees or other living beings. So when bamboo grows, it simply needs to pump water in and it expand and stretch the cells instead of having to replicate. So yes, one of the reasons why bamboo is our fiber of choice is because of how renewable and how quickly it grows, but there's other reasons as well. So in the US, we cut down 15 million trees a year just to make toilet paper alone. And that, that's literally just to wipe our butts. And you've got 15 million trees and forests and trees take hundreds of, like forests take hundreds of years to grow and trees individually, I don't know, like tens of years to grow. And we just cut them down. But whenever we do cut down trees, AKA deforestation, it actually releases all the carbon dioxide that it's been storing in its biome and in its trees and in its leaves back into the atmosphere, which then, you know, is a greenhouse gas furthering global warming. Uh, but also we chose this toilet paper and our, our exact process because we didn't want to bleach our toilet paper. You can see that this TP is a little bit brown. This is because we skipped over the bleaching process. So like, who cares if your toilet paper is not white, you're going to get it brown and dirty anyway, just flush it down the toilet. And actually, and if you are super interested in the toilet paper industry and more about like the TP um, habits and culture that we've kind of developed here in the United States, please check out this video right here. It's called The Dirty Truth of Toilet Paper. And I go into super detail about the toilet paper industry and I go into uh, more about the environmental impacts of the toilet paper industry in this video. So check it out. Yes, bamboo is a more sustainable option than wood toilet paper. And this one that we make, in fact, is 
a triple ply, so that means it has three layers, and it's the perfect balance of sturdy and um, soft, so like strong and soft, which is exactly what you need. And if you're using a bidet anyway, you're only using a, like a few pieces to pat dry after you go to the restroom. Now it's time to show you how this bad boy and bad girl is made. Yay! Now it's time for me to share the story of our bamboo toilet paper. How it goes from this to this. So I guess you could say the story of TP begins in China. And to be precise, 104 AD China. That was the year that Tai Lun invented paper. And guess what the very first paper was made out of? Ding, 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 bamboo. Well, it was a combination of bamboo fibers and this mulberry bark, but that was what the very first paper ever in the history of the world was made out of. Bamboo is native to China and the Chinese have been planting and using it for over 7,000 years. Like chopsticks, they've been making floors out of it, they've been making baskets out of it. Bamboo is extremely versatile and it's very strong and it's also super flexible. So it's been one of the staple products of the Chinese culture. So now let's travel to Chengdu, China, home of the Tushy Bamboo TP, the giant pandas and the most delicious and spiciest food I've ever had like this and this you know to connect it back to pooping spicy foods mean spicy poops and most likely more poops and again remember stick around to the end of the video where I chat about the Chinese bathroom culture China not only grows over 400 species of bamboo, but they grow the Dendrocalamus giant bamboo. And this is the type of bamboo that we at Tushy use to make our toilet paper. So the common name is literally giant bamboo and it's super thick with three C's. So pretty much how this works is on the bamboo farm, they grow this giant, 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 giant bamboo. First the bamboo is harvested and then it's put through like a chipper, which same thing as wood chips, it makes bamboo chips. And then this these bamboo chips are then made into bamboo pulp. And it's the same process that tree fibers must go through in order to make paper. But unlike the paper process, again, RTP isn't bleached, so it has a more of like a natural brownish color. And all right, we're at the paper now. So once it's made into this tissue paper, it gets rolled into these giant, and I mean these giant huge rolls of paper. And then these huge rolls are brought into the manufacturing machines where then if it's like, like our paper is three ply, then you would put three of these giant rolls and then roll them into the actual toilet paper itself. And then after you do that, you make perforations so you can easily tear the paper. And then after that, they're rolled into the toilet paper rolls itself. And then the machine, another machine cuts the super long roll into shorter rolls, followed by packaging. And then bada bing, bada boom, you've got these beautiful rolls of toilet paper. And I would like to point out that our toilet paper has no plastic packaging. Each of our rolls are hand packaged with paper. And also they're so cute, they're so pretty. But it's really crazy to see all that goes into something that you're just literally flushing down the toilet. Let's just take this next second to be super grateful for toilet paper and all the messes that it prevents us from touching with our bare hands. All right, so now that you know how our TP is made and you know that bamboo is super cool and super sustainable, and just know that it's always our choice to replace a habit with something more sustainable and why not start in the bathroom? Like we use the bathroom so many times a day. At least we poop once a day. We pee multiple times a day and there's just so many habits that are created in our bathroom. So start there and you can really make an impact by just choosing to do something that is just a little bit better every single day. And if you wanna even be more sustainable, make sure you grab a tushy bidet so you're washing your butt with water rather than wiping it. You also use way less toilet paper in general. Now that you know bamboo is super cool, go check out some of the other bamboo products that we have at Tushy, including like full bath towel sets um, that, are, that come in both the natural color and white. And we also have cute little Tushy towels that are perfect to pat dry after you wash your booty. But now, 
for the bonus. I know that you've been waiting to hear about Chinese bathroom culture and now the wait is over. So the things I wanna talk about in Chinese bathroom culture are that you will see a lot of squat toilets the type of toilets that are basically a hole in the ground. And it's not literally just a hole in the ground, but it's like a porcelain hole in the ground where you're squatting to go to the restroom. And it's like this in the men's bathroom and the women's bathroom. Although I'm pretty sure they have urinals in the men's bathrooms. I don't know, haven't really been to many men's bathrooms, so. But I know that for all women's bathrooms, even in like really nice restaurants, you'll see these squatty potties. And this is like really shocking to a lot of Westerners who go to China and they're like, what the hell is this hole in the ground? But you basically just like put your feet uh, next to it and you're just squatting and you're doing your do, whether it's a pee or a number two. And actually, if you're squatting to go number two, it's actually better for your body. And and I actually talk about the correct pooping position in our Tushy Ottoman video right here. So if you do, I actually talk about the anatomy of everything, but all in all, your body poops best and you get the most full eliminations whenever you are in a squatting position. But yeah, so don't be shocked when you go to China, if you ever visit China and it's like, they have the, the in-ground toilets. This is just part of the culture. Um, and actually a lot of the toilets now are being updated with like the Western toilet. All right, second bathroom culture thing that I noticed was, in China, you have to take your own bathroom tissue with you most places. So whether it's a public restroom or even some restrooms in like hospitals or um, it, or restaurants, some places don't actually provide toilet paper. And so it's just part of the culture to take, you know, those like little travel packs of tissue. So people take those with them everywhere. And because that is also part of the culture, there's a much more, like people use paper much more intentionally because like one, you have to like physically take it with you and so I think that was really cool because um, you don't just like take wads and wads of toilet paper when you're out in public you literally have like a limited supply that you can use and so you just generally the Chinese have developed a much more um, intentional conscientious way to concern to consume paper in the bathroom at least and then the another thing that I noticed in China was some of the restrooms aren't completely sealed off. And so it's like a little um, like cubicle kind of thing where like no one can actually see using the restroom, but some restrooms aren't, they don't actually have doors. And so uh, I guess in China, you know, using the restroom isn't like a super, super, <laughs> private thing and it's just part of the culture so when you go there and you are in a restroom where there's no door like don't be alarmed like no one's judging you for pooping because no one really cares like everyone knows that hey going to the bathroom is just part of life and yeah so don't be alarmed um it's just part of the culture Anyways, that's all for the video for today. I really hope you enjoyed learning about how we make our toilet paper, why we use bamboo, and just some little bits and pieces from my trip in China. And if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. And also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to our channel. We put out videos every single week answering all of your questions about tushy products, sustainability in the bathroom, booty health, and everything in between your cheeks. Thanks for watching and happy pooping.